No, I'm not holding up gang signs. I have four fingers up because we're on episode, well, this is episode one and two, but it's season six, and there are four episodes tied together in sort of a short story type format. Um, so they're titled, they're titled Bender's Big Score, one, two, three, and four, four fingers. Um, so first I want to start off by saying, uh, Futurama decided not to take the high road. Um, apparently they're coming off like a two year cancellation in this particular, uh, um, episode. They decided to put all that out there. Uh, and also the first thing that I noticed was the, the animation quality went way up. Excuse me. Um, I had to write down. I had to, actually had to write down some notes because there's a lot of stuff that goes on in, in these four episodes. I've already watched them. Um, we're gonna be splitting uh, two videos, so the first video is gonna be first two episodes, and three and four is gonna be on the next video. Um, anyway, let me see here. What did I write down? I, yeah, I'm, I'm going back to school. What, what did I write down? I have to take notes. Okay, so they talk about, uh, so they, they do a great job of reintroducing you to all the characters or just introducing the characters for those that are new to it, uh, the, the series. Um, they wind up, uh, the whole planet in, in, in Futurama's world, the whole planet Earth winds up getting scanned by these guys and they, they, they do it in a, I guess, not so interesting way as far as today's concerned, but I'm assuming when this was first released, um, when this was first released, um, like the internet was still kind of a new thing, but not necessarily the way it is, the way it's looked at now. So internet scams were kind of like a new phenomenon and this is their spin on it. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is their spin on that. Everybody's giving away all this information, things of that nature, and these guys, these scammers, wind up taking everything from all the possessions from the earth, almost, you know. And Planet Express happens to be one of those things. Um, and but but that comes into play later. So w where that comes into play is uh, um, while they're making a delivery, uh, you find out that. Fry has a tattoo of Bender on his booty cheek. Now, how why that's important is uh, these scammers somehow sniff it out for some reason. They put it under a magnifying glass, uh, under a scope, and they look at it. And in Bender's eye, there's binary code, and that binary code is a time portal. So when you say it, you open up a time portal, and that takes you through the rest of the four episodes. But also, um, as introduction of a character that I believe is only going to be staying uh, with the series for these four episodes, and his name is Lars. Um, he's important because Leela winds up some falling head over heels for him, and they wind up going on a date, and that causes Fry to be, uh, of course, be bitter about the situation because Fry has been chasing Leela throughout the throughout the entirety of the series, and personally, I've been rooting for him, you know. He hasn't tried that hard. He's expressed himself, but been turned down numerous times. <laughs> um, what else happens in that episode? Uh, what else happens in that episode? I guess. Yeah, that, I think that's it for that episode. Uh, now, the second episode, um, which I should have brought up in the first episode, but Nibbler, uh, Leela's pet, decides to start talking, which if you've watched the series previously, you know that him and Fry have saved the world, I guess, two times by now or something like that. Uh, he's, he's a quiet uh, observer and protector of the Earth, or whatever. <laughs> that thing's kind of funny. Um, so you have that. Uh, oh, yeah. Bender, I should have brought this up in the last episode. Bender downloads um, mind-controlling software he downloads mind controlling software from the scammers, so now he's basically the muscle for the scammers. Uh, 
he starts time traveling after the last episode. He starts time traveling and basically stealing all valuable stuff and and from the world's from the past history. You know, I would think they would show something more interesting, but of course they go to they go to Egypt and. Uh, I forget what other things they take. They go to Egypt, take some of those valuables and some books. There's some jokes thrown in there that um, I can't quite remember. Uh, oh, yeah, and Bender also becomes um, uh, a Terminator. So he starts hunting down Fry because at this point, uh, when you're in the second episode, Lars is already, like, chugging along uh, with Leela, and they're getting really, really close and of course that's causing Fry to become uh, first angry and then sad and now he just wants to run away and of course he has the coat on his on, on his on his booty cheek to time travel so he time travels. Bender has to chase him down and you're starting to see, it starts to get a little mixed up because you see Fry in so many different states of his life and different ways um, I don't know if that's in the next episode or or this episode. I won't even say it because I don't think it was in this episode. It's in the next episode. It's in the third episode probably where you see where stuff starts making more sense. Um, uh, but yeah, as far as second episode goes, it's... Oh, did I mention Hermes? I hope I mentioned Hermes. That's the that's their, that's their, like their accountant, I guess he will be. He winds up decapitating himself in the first episode and of course, for some reason, his wife automatically leaves him, which I'm like, okay, whatever that is. Um, but there's some funny bits in there, though. I, I, I think I've said this numerous times before uh, in, in this process of me trying to uh, uh, get all these episodes in. Uh, I will not be able to recreate any of the funny. <laughs> I can try, but I, I know I won't be overly successful. Um, that's all for these two episodes. I'll come back and make another upload uh, of uh, three and four.